<laughs> okay, we're going to do this in English though, right? It gives me great pleasure to bring out our second album <laughs> with jacuzzis, people I've known for a few years. And I hope Oren doesn't turn into Ashram here and that we make it to our third. <laughs> I think it's always funny how people like view the press pictures and they just ask, you know, is this band casted or something, you know? Which is a bit like, ah, you know, but... Bad in casting way, agency, man. <laughs> yeah, bad casting agency. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <no> <laughs> fucking shit. What's the question? Blitz and ass. Tell me what you're all about. It just came to me, actually. <laughs> the blitz, it came to me. Get your shit out. Tell me what you're all about. Get your shit out. Tell me what you're all about. Does it oh, sound yeah. like blitz and ass? I think it sounds like blitz and ass. Why? Okay, so it is kind of like tits and ass, the gloss and the glamour. What you think of as ass nowadays, yeah? It's more like the booty. It's the booty, it's the gloss, it's radio R&B, that okay. kind of stuff. Chill, chill, just take a chill, chill, get back to the shit that makes you ill. And the Blitz being kind of like Blitz Creek. For me, the Blitz is just uh, the darkness, the, the real attitude, you know? Still, the jacuzzi attitude this is, mixes a lot of style together, different beats from different genres. So, I have to talk about BLN now. Right yeah? now. BLN was kind of like a bit of an answer to all this LDN hype from our end of the world. Because in a way, Berlin does get a lot of hype musically, but more about techno, basically. And there's a lot of other stuff out here other than techno. The cliches which come to mind with uh, Germany is definitely not like cool club music. It starts down there. With my favorite song. Right, my, my favorite song. Favorite. Ah, thank my God. personal favorite is. Well, it is high tech. <laughs> <laughs> and it is because I'm Saeed. I'm really like happy to have this guy on the record, which I produce. So. That's my personal favorite. You know we were talking about heroes before? Yeah, exactly. That was It was really nice having Saeed on a record. Super cool guy, stayed completely feet on the ground. Highly intelligent and ultra cool. Big up Saeed. Yeah, yes. last year was intense. We played in Catania in Sicily. New York, Los Angeles. Istanbul, St. Petersburg, uh, San Francisco. Kuala Lumpur, Singapore. Transylvania, uh, Cluj, <laughs> Napoca. Tel Aviv, Haifa, Jerusalem. Yeah. Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona. Tempe, Florida. No. Where else? Yena. Yeah, no. is also somewhere special. Working on it. What have we learned? Sasha has something to say. Okay, it's going to sound really hippie and oh, that. Oh, God. <laughs> but I, love there, anyway, I love it already. Okay, what I have learned actually is it's amazing how many really sweet promoters there are in the world. There are really music fans who are promoting music like ours. Oh, that's really sweet to meet some of these people. When we went last week uh, to Budapest, you yeah. know, and then these people heard our CDs, they really wanted to book us for, uh, for a while, and now they succeed to get us and bring us there. It's nice. Definitely, yeah. definitely a nice experience. You know. yeah, yeah.
apparently, you know, we are gold at the moment. Um. <laughs> I think some of it was luck, actually. We had, like, luck from the beginning in a certain sense. I don't know, like, John Peel, before he died, played Fish, for example, just in the nick of time. I don't know, seem to have a few celebrity fans, if that's what you want to call it. I know that Angelina and Brad listen to our CD sometimes. We like to think that they maybe do it to our CD and stuff. Yep. Angelina, don't forget about me. <laughs> I am. Asian Dub Foundation, apparently in the last interview they did for Al Jazeera, they said their favorite band was Jacuzzi. So yeah, we seem to have a few friends in the right places, but you know, so we're small really. kids from small towns, so I don't know, it just happened through luck and we're yeah. very appreciative to all these people. In a way we want to make dance music, but I definitely want to have something said within that dance music. It shouldn't be a message which should be dogmatic. It's basically satirical social commentary, but people are supposed to laugh, and I do laugh, so I hope other people will as well. <laughs> um, in terms of our live show, there's definitely probably people who find our music really odd, but through the kind of live, interactive sort of live show we, we have, it makes it easier for people to watch and take on these kinds of sounds. B -B -B -L -N. I think we still shock these people. Definitely. Two o'clock in the morning in Paris in the club. In that environment, it's still like freak show to them, you know. But it's just an upgraded freak show because now at least the beats kick ass so much. I hope Aaron sends me the link for the yogi okay. camp. In the I hope woods. I don't lose my band to the Rainbow Festival and the Ashram Hippies. <laughs> but if we do, I'm sure there's some other white people I can make music with. <laughs> 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 <laughs>